Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create a custom pagination in your custom module. So this is the uh, controller page I already created. And in that page, I'm just listing the list of node, what I have, node ID, and then type of the node. And I have pagination for this page. So since I have very less number of content, I just uh, printing only two content per page. So let me show you how to do this. And I will share the code also in the description. If you want, you can go and get it. Uh, I have created a custom module. So in this custom module, I have only info file and then routing file. Routing file, I created only one controller and uh, the controller file is this. And here I have this function build. So here what I'm doing, I am just uh, selecting all the content from the node table and then uh, fields node id and then type and here you have to use the class called page selector extender so this will help you to uh, get the node id and then node type based upon the offset of the page okay so here first time i'm getting only first two item and then i'm fetching on and next what i'm doing in the for loop i am constructing the each row so if it is two item, it will be two rows array. So you have to call, uh, you have to keep your row, ver row variable, something like this, row empty array and then array. So inside the data, you have to pass the both value, node ID and then node type. So now here, when you see here, here I'm keeping this as a table. So since it's a table, I need a rows and then uh, I need a header. So next one is a header. So uh, this is the key value for the header and then uh, ID is a header row name and then type type. So once you created rows and header, you have to use a, a theme of table in the build element. And then header. So pass the header, which you already initialized array of header items and then rows. Rows is for each row item and empty, empty you have to use if you don't have any result. In that case, this item will be displayed in the screen. And then at the bottom, I'm just displaying the pagination, which will work for this class. Okay. So uh, when you click on the pagination, the page will be go like a uh, query string page one, two, three, right? So by using that variable, the query will be uh, fetched by using the offset value. So once this is done, I already enabled the module. If you go and check the page and refresh, you will be able to see the page with the two item. And if you click on the next item, so you can see, you can go until all the pages. So you can see, so we have only eight items. So only eight items are coming. So after that, you don't have any page nations and you can even uh, rest here to three. Uh, clear catch. So now you can see uh, the page is loaded with uh, three items. And also you can see the page nation. Before that, it was one, two, three, four. Now you can see only three numbers are there. If you go to third page, there will be only two items. So totally it was uh, eight. So first two page will contain two, three, three. So six and the last one, two. So it's eight. So based upon the limit, whatever you are giving and the uh, page, which page you are in, based on that, the offset value will be uh, generated and then query item will be fetched and displayed here. So this is very easy and simple way to create a custom pagination in your custom module. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.